All right, it's Picks 106. It's Cantera from Quinn and Cantera on with Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti, 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. Paul, you're you're really into phase three, huh? You're at, you're at breakfast this morning? We are at the 76 Diner, and uh, so I get to uh, have this conversation with you here. It feels good. I mean, uh, some version of normalcy, although I would say I've never called you from a diner, so this is a first. <laughs> well, we're going to make you look cool, and it's a, and it's a, I think it's a simple question, but I'm – I figure let's just settle this once and for all. Uh, President Trump used a Tom Petty song at the rally in Tulsa. Petty's family issues a cease and desist. We see this all the time. What is it, and do they even work, Paul? Yeah, so the cease and desist is usually a precursor to what could be a lawsuit if there is a trademark violation, right? So these songs are copyrighted. They're protected. Uh, and in order to play it, uh, generally at a rally or play it anywhere, you, you play on the radio, right? You need a public performance license. So that's a basic agreement between the music user and the owner of the comp- copyrighted material. Um, so here, uh, assuming the stadium didn't have that agreement, which it appears they did not, um, probably he needed to get one, uh, and he didn't. As an individual, can I just get that license? Yeah, there's about three groups out there that sort of have access to, vir- to virtually all songs. So if you're going to run it, you can contact those agencies, and you just and it, it's really pennies, uh, but you can need a permission. So right now they're because it's just. I kind of looked at it this morning. Uh, not only had the Lennon family contacted the Trump administration when he used "Here Comes the Sun," right? But Queen, Stones, we are the Champions, Rolling Stones, yep. Neil Young—they've all said don't use it. Springsteen. Right? So if they, yeah, if they right. did reach out, the answer would probably be no. Um, and you know, you know, you you do there are. There's a thing called the fair use exception. You can use it if you're using it for parody or education or news. I don't think they fall into that category, although there's an argument. But usually what happens is you get a cease and desist letter, and then you cease using it, and it just sort of ends there, which will probably be the case here. But, you know, if they play it again, you know, the family would kind of weigh their options, I'm sure. What's, on the, what's, on, the, what's on the breakfast menu for you? You seem like a fruit bowl kind of guy. I know. I'm going to go lots of protein, lots of eggs, and uh, if I sneak in a little crispy bacon uh, here because we're celebrating. First time back. Uh, well, enjoy breakfast. Thanks for the time this morning, Paul. Okay. Talk soon. All right. It's Paul Harding from Martin Harding Mazzotti, 100 Law 1010 and 100 Law1010.com. Thanks again, Paul.